Hello, my name is Andrew Allen. I'm on the music faculty at Claflin University in Orangeburg, South Carolina, and I'm a Presidential Doctoral Fellow in Music at the University of South Carolina. This is part of a series of short videos uh, designed for young saxophone students and teachers of young saxophone students to hopefully help address some problems and concerns that often arise. Today we're talking about the saxophone vibrato. Hopefully you've seen uh, my video by now on improving the saxophone sound. So after one is pleased with the sound of the saxophone, uh, after one is pleased with the sound of uh, their own students, the next layer, the next little bit of icing on top of the cake is a very pleasant saxophone vibrato. The vibrato over the last 80 or 90 years has become integral uh, to the sound of the saxophone. Uh, on one side in classical music and on another in jazz. Today we're focusing on that classical vibrato. Now the first concern to be addressed when dealing with saxophone vibrato is there's so many different kinds of vibrato in the world, what do we use? Uh, a first concern, a first warning. Many young saxophonists try to uh, achieve a vibrato using their airstream as flutists do. A, a pulsing of the airstream. Uh, this is to be avoided like the plague on the saxophone. Um, while it sounds lovely on the flute, uh, we get a rather strange result on the saxophone. You get a very uneven kind of billy goat sound that, that we don't want. So the saxophone uses what's known as a jaw vibrato. Now when I say a jaw vibrato, I mean you have the saxophone embouchure set, and when you want to achieve vibrato, you just have a very slight up and down motion of your jaw. Perhaps the best way to visualize it is it's a chewing gum motion. You have just a little bit of chewing gum in between your front teeth, and you're chewing it just enough so the teacher won't notice. So how do we achieve this? Well, take the saxophone. And when we first begin practicing the saxophone vibrato, we don't want it to be pretty. Pretty will come later. We just want to make sure we're doing all the mechanical things correctly. So, very slowly at first, again, as I said in the previous video, for nearly everything we use our friend, the trusty metronome. Uh, in the beginning, set your metronome at 80, at 80 beats per minute. And just try to get two vibratos very wide, um, a little bit crass, your parents or your teachers probably aren't going to like this that much in, in the beginning, on a, on a G without the octave key. Just two, just two per beat. As I said, pretty comes later. We just want the mechanics to work correctly. So, uh, very wide, Wah, 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 at 80 beats per minute. If you can't do this at that tempo, that's all right. Just slow it down a little bit and try to get to wherever it's comfortable. Okay, and don't cheat. Don't start pulsing your ear or anything else like that. Once this is comfortable, however, bring the metronome down to about 60. About 60 beats per minute. And then with the same very wide vibrato pattern, try to give four pulses in the beat. A wah, 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 wah. Again, on a G. Sorry, that's two. Try four. Again, if you can't do four at this tempo, slow it down. Just work with it over time. There needs to be a lot of slowing up and speeding down of your metronome in this process. And it can take several days, if not weeks, to achieve a very fluid sound. Now, ultimately, uh, you're going to want a very spinning, effortless vibrato instead of a wah, 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 a very uh, exaggerated kind of vibrato. Eventually, you're going to want a very stately one. <laughs> But with 
without first achieving that very why, wah, 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 we won't have the control uh, to do uh, the love layer vibrato later. So, of course, a word of warning again. Uh, we don't ultimately want to end up with a very metered wah, 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 wah vibrato. We don't want that. Your vibrato needs to be able to speed up and slow down according to the musical occasion. Um, according to the dictates of style and uh, taste. So, once you achieve the mechanics, again, speed your metronome up, slow it down, um, have three uh, vibratos per beat, have four, have five, all at different tempos, so you free yourself from the strictures of the rut. Um, so one day, you can take a lovely melodic line, You can bring warmth, you can bring the next level of musicianship to your playing. your own student. So until the next video, uh, happy saxophone.